Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we used a converging mirror. We started with the object at the center of curvature, and we moved the object back away from the focal point and from the lens to see what happened to the image. And what we saw was that the image got closer and closer and closer to the focal point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move the object starting from the center of curvature and move it closer to the mirror or move it closer to the focal point and see what happens to the image this time. We already saw that in the last video, when you place the object at the center of curvature, the image will form at the center of curvature. It will be the same size as the object, but it will be inverted. A real image at the same location, but inverted, the magnification would be negative one. So let's now move the object in between the center of curvature and the focal point at a distance of 30 centimeters, assuming that the focal length is 20 centimeters and the center of curvature is 40 centimeters. So here's the center of curvature, here's the focal point, and we place the object right smack in between the two. Again, we draw the first ray from the top of the object to the mirror. It reflects off the mirror through the focal point. The second ray is drawn through the focal point until it hits the mirror. Now you can see that sometimes you have to make the mirror a little bit bigger. Then it reflects off the mirror parallel to the optical axis and where the two rays meet over here that's where you'll see the image now notice the image looks like it's bigger than the original object and it's also farther away from the lens and from the focal point let's calculate what the image distance is s prime being the image distance equals s the object distance times f the focal length divided by s minus f this is equal to we said s is 30 f is 20 that would be 30 minus 20, which is 600, divided by 10, which is 60 centimeters. So you can see that the image distance is now 60 centimeters away from the lens. So S prime equals 60 centimeters. As far as the size of the image, you can see the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, minus 60 over 40, which is minus 1.5. Minus means it's inverted, 1.5 means it's one and a half times the size of the object. Now let's move the object really close to the focal point. Here's the focal point, here's the center curvature. The focal point is at a distance of 20 centimeters from the lens. We place the object just one centimeter farther at 21 centimeters. The two rays you draw, again, you start with the first one, parallel to the optical axis until you hit the mirror, and then you go to the focal point all the way back like this. And the second ray would be through the focal point until you hit the mirror. Again, sometimes you have to make the mirror a little bit larger like this to make it work. And then it reflects parallel to the optical axis. And you can see that the, the two rays will converge really far away right here, perhaps over here somewhere. That will be the image. Notice the image is very large compared to the original object. So there's a large magnification. And also realize again, the image is upside down. Finding the distance mathematically, S prime equals SF over S minus F. That's a minus right there. S is 21. F is 20. This is 21 minus 20. This is 420 divided by 1. Yes, it is. So that'll be 420 centimeters. So you can imagine, even though I don't have enough board space to make it look like it's 420 centimeters, imagine the image to be really far away from the focal length and from the focal point, I should say, from the mirror. And then the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, minus 420 over S, which is 20, which is equal to minus 21. So you can see if you then place the object just to one centimeter away from the focal point, the image will be 21 times as large. Negative still means it's upside down or inverted. So we have a real image very far away at a distance of 420 centimeters. The image is 21 times the size of the original object. So bottom line, now we realize that as we put the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point, the image will move farther and farther and farther away. As we approach the focal point, the image will tend to go out to infinity, become infinitely large and infinitely far away. Of course, in the limit, as the object reaches the focal point, that's where the image would appear. Of course, 
In real life, if you place it exactly at the focal point, you really can't find the image because it would be infinitely far away and would be infinitely large. And that's how we know what happens to the image as the object gets closer to the focal point.